In this video, we're going to convert three different PDFs of a similar format into a tabular form in Aldrix. To do this, we've got three different draft CVs. Come along here. Got a details section with the personal details. Got qualifications. We've got four separate columns here. We've got qualification, course location, date of location, and the final grade. We also have a skill section. Finally, we've got a references section. Each of these CVs are just similar in the structure, we've just got slightly different details. So now we'll go into the workflow and we'll show how to convert all this data into a table. First section of the workflow is to select your directory where your PDFs are stored. In this case, I've got mine stored on my desktop, just in one folder. To find the directory tool, you can just come up to the in out section up here and select the directory tool. Once we've selected our directory, we can then use three different computer vision tools to convert the PDF into text. First one here is the image input. We put in the file part, the full path from the directory tool. We can then select our arbitrary name for our column to be passed down. Here we're just going to put in input all file types. The next tool is the image to text tool, found here. We're going to just use this image column that we created in this previous tool. Put this into the D anchor. There's also going to be another one here which is a target. This is where we can specify the different sections of the CV, which makes it a lot easier to parse. As I mentioned before, we've got a personal detail section, qualifications table, skills and references. Now, what's quite useful here is that we can select this as text. We've got personal details as a string. We've also got each of these as a string. But we also have our qualifications stored as a table which means it can split up the different sections of the table and we'll have a pipe in between each of these different columns. Here all we need to do is select the file where it's came from. As I mentioned before, I've got it installed on my desktop and so you just need to select your directory and I'll just show this image for you. Once you've provided the template, you don't need to do much with it in the configuration itself. You just need to select, select the image from the previous image input tool. Once this section has been complete, we can then remove some of our columns. We're going to use a select column tool found in the preparation section. If we look at our output here, we just have four different columns. We can see there's been lots of columns here created from the directory tool. We're only going to keep the personal details, the qualifications table, skills and references, as you can see here. The next step is to create a record ID. We're going to do this just so we can create a distinction between each different CV, because each of them has got similar sections and similar details. The record ID tool can be found in the preparation section again. Next, we're going to transpose the data using the transform tool, transpose. What we want to do here is we want to keep the key columns as the record ID, so we can keep a distinction between each of the different CVs. And we want to switch these columns into rows. What we'll get is the column names in the name section the previous column names in the name section and the values for those columns in the value section. Next, we're going to split on a new line. This is purely because we've got different sections within the personal details. If we have a look here, we've got a full name, we've got an age, we've also got a nationality, phone number and email. We want to be able to split this out into different rows. You can see here they're all on a different line, so we can use 
split the rows and use a backslash N for a new line. What we get is this. You can now see we've got each of them in a new line. We've also got a few empty rows here. Now we've got our data split out. We can actually work with it now. We can split it into different sections. We've still got the section names here. We've got personal details, qualification table, skills and references. On this third section, we're just going to go from top to bottom. We'll go from personal details down to references. For each stage here, the first step will always be just to filter out for that specific section. In this case, we have name equals personal details. And the next one down will be name equals qualification table, etc. Once we've filtered these out, we then have a table only with the personal details. You can now see we've got some empty rows. We've also got the section header. So what we're going to do is now is remove them. Firstly, we'll use a data cleanse tool found in the preparation section. We're going to select the value column and we're going to remove leading and trailing white space. This now puts us in a place to filter out the empty rows since we don't have any trailing or leading white spaces in them. We then use another filter tool. We say if the value is not empty and the value column does not contain details, which is the section header. We'll see this is a true output because it doesn't contain, it meets those conditions and it doesn't contain the details string and it's not empty. I'm now left with the full name, the age, the nationality, the phone number and the email. The next step is to split on the colon using the text of columns tool. We will split the value column on a col colon delimiter. We're going to split into two different columns. We'll see here that because we had a space after the colon, we've got a leading space right here in front of each of the rows. What we're going to do now, we're just going to transpose the data and we're going to remove the leading spaces afterwards. I'm going to use a record ID as the, the grouping column. I'm going to make value 1, which was the full name, the age, the nationality, phone number and email. Those will be the column headers. And these here will be the values. We're going to select concatenate down here, although none of these values will actually be concatenated. This still can be found in the transform section. Cross tab. Now that we have the record ID in each of the columns we'd like, we can now remove these leading and trailing spaces using the data cleanse tool. Again, found in the preparation section. We select each of these problematic columns. We're going to remove leading and trailing white space. We'll be left with this. We're now going to use a select column still found here in the preparation section. We're going to reorder the column slightly. So now we've got full name first, then age, then email, phone number, and then nationality. Now that we've got the personal details, we can now move on to the qualification section. We're going to start with the same thing. We're going to say the name equals qualification table. The true output will only show where. The category equals qualification table. We've got here, because it's a table, we've got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Altrix just put this in if you've got a table, just to denote the, the column number. We've got the section header. We've also got the names of the columns. What we're going to do is we're going to remove each of these top three from each record because we already know what the column names are going to be for each of the tables. For this, we're going to use a sample tool, found again in the preparation section. We're going to skip the first N rows and select N as 3, and we'll group by record ID. 
this just leaves us with this. You know, going from this to this. Now that we've got just the data itself, we can then split on the pipes using the split to columns tool, text the columns tool from the par section. We split the value column, use a pipe as a delimiter. We're going to split into five different sections. Now there's only four columns in the table, but because we've got a pipe right at the end here, we're just going to split into five and then just remove this final column just to make things a bit easier. We've now got each of the different data points parsed out. I'm now going to use a select columns tool. I'm going to rename value one to name, value two to location, value three to date, and value four to final grade. We're going to drop value five and also keep record ID. Now it's a bit more clean. We can now add a qualification number. The type of this column is in 16, grouped by record ID. And all that it's saying here is we're going to add one to the previous no previous row qualification number. And for rows that doesn't exist, it'll be zero or empty, meaning that for the first row it'll be zero plus one, which is one. This then gives us what qualification it is for each person. For record one, we've got four different qualifications and this is just giving them a number. Because in reality you won't have qualification one point something or two point something. What we can then do is we can put qualification under slash in front of them. This is just going to be going towards our column names that we're going to be using in the end. We we'll use a formula tool for this. We we'll just put the string plus and convert qualification number to a string. What we can now do with this, we can then transpose from the transform section right here. We can select record ID and qualification as the key columns and pivot name, location, date and final grade. This will allow us to concatenate the qualification and the name. We'll have qualification one, qualification one in location, qualification one in date, qualification one in final grade. This is just so that nothing gets mixed up. For example, name isn't in the personal details section, it's the name of the qualification, not the name of the person. To create these column names, we use another the formula tool in the preparation section, you just combine the qualification and the name with an underscore and we'll be left with this. I've named this column names just for clarity because we're then going to use this in the cross tab tool in the transformation section. We're going to select record ID to go it by. The new column headers will be column names new values will be value. As we can see here we want these to be our values and this to be our column names. We're going to concatenate the values, although this isn't actually going to happen. This is just, if it did happen then it would be concatenating them. What we're left with is this. We've got each qualification in a separate column with each different sub-column of the qualification as well as the record ID. The next section is the skills section. This is a bit simpler. I'm going to say when name equals skills. In the true output, we've got the skills section. The next step is to use the data cleanse tool. Again, just to remove the leading and trailing white space. Filter tool is going to be used to remove the section headers. 
when value does not equal skills, we'll be left with this. The skills themselves. The next step is to split on a comma using the text columns tool. The value column will be split on a comma. The maximum number of skills here is five. So we'll be splitting into five columns. We can see here we've got some trailing spaces, leading spaces in each of them. We're then going to use a data clean still to remove these. Again, found the preparation section. Select each of these different skills. And again, select leading and trailing white space. Finally, we'll select the columns we need, skill one up to skill five, as well as the record ID. We left with this. At first, we had the name, the value, and the record ID. Now we've got them in each column. Final section is the references section. We start with the same, the name equals references. We're then going to use another filter tool just to remove the section headers as well as the reference number. We might need to make this more robust if there's more than one reference, but in this case there is only one. We're now left with the relationship on the phone number. We now can now split on a colon using the text of columns tool. Split into two different columns using the colon as the delimiter. We'll get this. Because we've got a space after the colon, we've got a few leading spaces here. Then go to group by record ID, volume one will be the column headers. If we go back to the input, relationship and phone number will be the column headers, and these will be the values. Again, we'll select concatenate, although none of, nothing's actually going to be concatenated. Finally, we can see here we've still got a few issues with leading spaces. Use the data cleanse tool. Select the phone number and relationship. Remove those leading and trailing white space. We've got just about the format we'd like. We're going to add in a prefix at the start just to say the references. This tool here is called a dynamic rename. Here we can dynamically change the column headers. In this case, we've selected add prefix or suffix. Columns we need are phone number and relationship. I'm going to select prefix rather than suffix. And then reference under slash here. We're left with this. Now, at this stage, we can join all of these different sections together. What we're left with is the record the personal details, all the qualifications, the skills, and the references. At this point, you could then output this in any different format you'd like. Put it in a CSV or a Alteryx database, anything you'd like, really. I hope you found this video useful.